the prophecy for August 16 to August 22, 2020 is plagues and disasters. First, let us enter the protocol. Holy Father, here I am before you with your people. You are seated on your throne and the four living creatures surrounding you. Before your throne are the seven spirits of God. On your right hand, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is seated on his throne. With him are the seven archangels. On your left hand, the Holy Spirit is seated on his throne. With the Holy Spirit are the nine spirits' gifts and the nine spirits' fruits. The twenty-four elders are seated, twelve on your right hand and twelve on your left hand. Holy Father, I must say, you are sovereign and you are almighty. Rule of us, O oh Lord. Yes, you said today, I'm going to review with your people two prophecies. And you want them to go after this message to listen to them. 2020 plagues and 2020 natural disasters. But the title was 2020 floods, droughts. Fires, earthquake. You will see these two prophecies are among the prophecies for 2020 on YouTube. Yes, O oh Lord, you said between August and December. You are going to do a special work. And last week, in the message, you said to me to tell your people that they will be blessed. I know some of you, you will listen to this message and suddenly fear enter you and you deny, you know, the everlasting love of your God. And you enter condemnation. And you are going to say to yourself, Oh, whoa, this is for me. Bad things are coming my way. If you are righteous, the Lord is saying, You have nothing to fear. And yes, I told you last week that we will enter angelic manifestations. Yes, the angels are sent on earth in 2020 to do two things. Two duties. The first one is to bless the righteous. And the second is to inflict pain to the wicked. Hallelujah. And the Lord is is saying they will be there to make sure that the wicked fall into serious problem. Yes, when I was receiving, I received the prophecy from God and Jesus came and explained the prophecies, the explainer of the word of God. And me and Jesus, we were able to elaborate on the word of God. And I remember when, especially when I was receiving the prophecy concerning the plague, he said, there are many plagues coming. And if you go and you will see after this message come out, and you hear plague coming our way. And now we have the coronavirus. 
But the Lord is saying that he will hit us with natural disasters also. And why? The Lord said, you know, we have become wicked. And he entered with me, we flow to the book of Isaiah chapter 5. And starting with verse 8. And he was able to show me, he said, yes, this line here, it will happen to us. And the Lord was saying so many things to me and explain the word of God. And saying how we become sinful. And uh, let, let's start the reading a little bit. How we become so materialistic as a nation. You know, he said, what to you at house to house and join field to field. This is Isaiah 5. Till no place is left and you live alone in the land. He said, the Lord Almighty has declared in my hearing. Surely the great houses will become desolate. And, and the Lord was able to talk about the plague coming our way. And in a part of the prophecy, he said, the way we sin, you know, we, we, we not only uh, uh, becoming sit, uh, sinful, but also deceitful. You sin along with cords of deceit. And you calling evil good and good for evil. And you see that, you know, how we can explain things away and allow ourselves, you know, to deceive people and being deceived at the same time. He said, we accumulate sin upon sin. And he said, this is why my anger has not turned away. He said to me clearly, he said, this morning, say to them, my anger has not turned away. Although we hear the plague going on, nobody, you know, ha ha has taken heed and repent. So the Lord said, stay tuned. And it started since August 11. August 11, 2020, at 3 a.m. I'm up. And the Lord is saying, you are going to tell them that the angels are here to do two things. Bless the righteous. Inflict pain on the wicked. My God, my God. He said, what is going to happen right now? You are going to hear plagues, torrential rains, flood, fires, earthquake. It's, you know, all these things coming our way. Blizzard, when you reach winter time, blizzard. And all these things will practically kill. A lot of people on top of what we have right now with the coronavirus. And we see also man-made disasters. You know, governments, they don't know what to do, how to behave. You know, they, they're crushing the people right now. And the Lord is mad about that. The poor. What we are doing to the alien, the orphan. He said, we hold water from the thirsty. And I have an imagery, like people come from the border totally thirsty and ask for food. We send them away to die. We strip them from what they have. You know, the Lord is mad. And the Lord said, you know, all the wicked leaders, they will be punished. I'm talking about wicked leaders in the church, in government, and in businesses. The Lord said, there is a wind that left 
might wound from my breath. And you know, the breath of God gives life. But that wind is there to take away life. And we see what's going on now. People can't breathe. And they're dying. And yet we are wicked. I'm telling you, you can go out there and see wickedness on the street. Wickedness, wickedness totally visible. You know, I you know I was driving and I see and I see a prostitute. I said, whoa, coronavirus and a prostitute standing on the street. <laughs> my God, my God. So the Lord is saying, I will put my wrath on the leaders. This is why he said, stay tuned, you will hear scandals. Because he will not leave the guilty unpunished. And I remember when I get the prophecy about the natural disaster, he, you know, the Lord Jesus, you know, take me to the book of Job, you know, chapter 22, especially when I reach verse 12, you know, and he said, Patrick, this is what's going on right now. He said, who can stand my indignation? So the Lord is indignant, mad at us. He said, is not your wickedness great? It's time for us to imagine that we have come, we have become too wicked for God. And this is why we are in this situation. And he said, snares are all around you. That means, you know, you're trying to move up, but something is holding you down. You're trying to escape, but you, you are falling into the pit. And concerning the rain, he said, tempest will carry you away. So, don't be surprised in the days ahead when you hear there is a big flood and 10 lives, 20 lives, you know, people on the water, drone. Be careful. He said the leaders are those who have moved boundaries, boundary stones. That means they will not respect the constitution anymore. And the Lord said, I will pursue them in the realm of darkness. And the Lord explaining himself, he said that God will be like a lion, telling of prey, killing people left and right until he has his fill. Yes. And he said, and, and the lion will take a break and return to his lair. That means, you know, it's like a lion hungry and he finds some food, eat, eat, eat. And then he went and rest and come back to the carcass and said, I will eat even those bones. Amen, amen, amen. So what you are going to do with this message? What are you going to do? You are going to repent. And be right. If you are in the church, you are saying to yourself, oh, I'm, I'm perfect, I'm perfect. No. Check your ways. The Lord said, who can endure my fierce anger? He said, when I'm mad, do you think you can endure my anger? You can't. You can't, said the Lord. And he said, when you see the clouds are coming, tell the people, the clouds are the dust under my feet. That means you see, whoa, there is a bad weather coming. And God is in it. And God is going to use that to kill a few people. Yes. We are entering a special time. The angels are here. 
and especially in August the 21st, when you enter the first day of Elul, and the Lord will show his end at the end of August, from the 21st in. You know, some people, they will be like Mary, giving birth to new things, the righteous. Giving birth to new things. Like in the prophecy for August, he said, August 14 and August 15, that means today, you know, will be lucky days for the righteous. But guess what? The reverse of it, that means this is a bad time for the wicked. My God, my God. Imagine you live in the northeast and blizzard and you get stuck. Your car cannot move and you frozen to death. Right there. Oh, you drive in your car. You said, oh, this is a little water. And then, boom, you, you get swept away. Amen, and amen. Drought. That means no, no vegetation and, 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 and no food supply anymore. My brothers, my sisters, you want to be spared. You want God to save you from the plagues and the disasters. Well, yes, we are talking about the coronavirus. This is the, the only great plague. There are many plagues, said the Lord. You know, I post right there and showing you an old man trying to flee the flood that invaded his house. And you can see he's by himself in the middle of the water. My brothers, my sisters, take heed and repent, said the Lord. And I have to tell you something. The only way, practically I, I could say, from August to December, that means the second half of 2020, is a time of serious judgment because the Lord said, my anger has not, has not turned away. And the way I feel it this way, it seems the anger of God has intensified. Has intensified. For the righteous and the saint, you have nothing to fear. The angels are there to safeguard and protect you. But for the wicked, the Lord said, they have not any promise with me unless they change their ways. Amen and amen. Holy Father, I have given to your people your word. And this is a word of warning. And you tell them, after listening to this message, to go back and listen to these two prophecies. The prophecy about the plague and the prophecy about the natural disasters. So they may know that they are in a time of judgment. The only way they will be spared and saved is through repentance. They must obey you and bow down to you. Father, right now I would like to pray you for the people. I'm asking you, O oh God, be merciful. And listen to the prayers of your people, especially today, a day of prayer. Forgive their sins and save those who bow down and declare that you are God. But for the wicked, O Lord, like you said, your justice will be there for them. I want to pray for the people who are sick right now with the coronavirus. 
I want to pray you, O Lord, to save us, to save the righteous, because you said there will be among the victims, some of them. When they hear the bad weather, they must stay home and not be out there when, you know, the disaster is uh, out there doing your judgment. Protect us all. Save us for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen.